Hi, John here. Today is um, Wednesday, the 7th of um, June 2017. I'm just uh, showing you a, a screenshot of um, 38 degrees in London, uh, George Lamming, and um, see, I've written something about me, the effect of the use um, your vote campaign in UK general election 2017 a study by Professor John Peter John, University College London, and John 1R. See? So I'm going to take this up now. That's the 6th of June, one day ago, uh, from today. And we'll be in contact with them, with where we're going to, with the um, King William the Fourth flag, King William the Third flag, the Declaration of War flag. That's um, um, the uh, creation of the banks and the um, commerce, uh, everything that's tied up in bundles and this will bring it out with uh, this um, uh, publishing company or media that uh, we are hoping to now engage with our connection here in the islands, so New Zealand, with Britain, UK and our political part as partners to the British Royal Navy and the First Lord of the Sea, um, Sir Philip Jones, and Theresa May, Prime Minister, and the politics of how the world is operating from this um, Crown Corporation point of view and our part as the people, the King's people of the world. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'll just turn it on myself here so that you can see who I am. And Hi, uh, uh, I'm John Wana, and this is the sheriff's hat with King William the Fourth's um, eight-point star, jurisdiction of the flag here that we're taking to Britain to raise in Parliament and take part as partners in a private contract of the Magistrate Court and the Admiralty of the Sea. That's where the banks originated with King William. The third, and the Freemasons, and some things I'm putting online uh, that uh, you can see uh, will involve politics. And I'm glad to say, with uh, 38 degrees, and uh, George, uh, we'll engage with you. George Laming um, of 38 degrees um, uh, will contact you with the Paramount Chiefs from New Zealand that's involved with the partnership in all this banking uh, business uh, from the Admiralty in uh, Trafalgar Square. The Admiralty House is where we're going to raise the flag there in Buckingham Palace and also in Westminster and Plymouth County. I'll be going to Plymouth County first as soon as we get to um, London, the Heathrow Airport, and the um, Paramount Chiefs will be going, these are the old guys in the war side, in the Maori Battalion that fought your wars in London, for you, and also uh, King Itaurua from the Vietnam Wars, uh, those two veterans, um, uh, Sowen uh, Clark, um, uh, and um, King Itaurua, Sowen Clark being the Maori Battalion, uh, carrying the Clark name in Britain as partner to King Itaurua, uh, the chief, the native surnames. So you can see we're bringing the right people and also Manahi Parapara Mohini, the um, church <coughs> side of St. Mary's Church in Tikitiki, -tiki, where I come from on my land blocks in my Marae, the Rahui Marae, 1831, the first uh, birth certificate deaths and marriages, bonds on the stock market that King William III set up with his Freemasons in, <coughs> as the, uh, King William of Orange in um, Brussels. So we're going to Brussels as well to raise this flag. That's his flag and King William IV's flag that reformed all the laws in Westminster. We've got all the laws we're using, 1830 to 1837, King William IV, 
in a dual government with you there for the native countries of the world that this magistrate court of Admiralty set up in Trafalgar Square, that building there, that old building there is where we're going. It's got the education department in there. And this is Professor Peter John from the University College of London. We need to speak to you to join us all up and rebuild Britain as being the new Westminster with everything rehashed and reformed to go into the future together. Okay, so I'm just saying this statement out aloud uh, because all our sites, 30, 80 sites on Facebook and also um, over 1,070 videos on YouTube explaining uh, who we are and where we are at the top of the earth in New Zealand and how we became part of a two-way partnership with you in Britain and anybody else as a third party on the Queen's side. Now where is she? She's in Brussels, shifted over there under King William III of Orange. She's hiding away over there and we're coming to London to follow in behind her footsteps to see what she's been doing with Queen Victoria and our trust, the Queen Victoria Trust belongs to us, we're the beneficiaries of it on the record here and in Edinburgh, Scotland, Land Titles Department. We're going there as well to check the records of this birth certificate and tiki tiki on my Wanoa native Moai land blocks in New Zealand that's connecting straight to the stock market at 1831 in King William IV's reign, 1830 to 1837, and also King William III's reign from 1650 to 1703. So there we go. I'm just saying something out loud and true, and deeds of truth that we are who we are, coming to Britain. For the very first time, this has been hidden away from you, the banks and how they made all their money on the back of this flag, which is our contract, our third party, the Rothschild banks, the church and state, the Queen, the IMF, the NATO, the UN, and the Kabali, um, are, and the Jesuits, and the Freemasons are all third parties to Westminster government that owns all those documents that have this flag on it of those kings, King William III and King William IV, tied up in King Solomon's mines and also William the Conqueror straight through to King William III and King William IV. The commercial side of the business is King William IV and our titles to the best of gets that King William the Third, oh, King William the Fourth, set up in New York Stock Exchange while he was 50 years in the Navy there, under the Admiralty of this Magistrate Court. We are Native Magistrate Court now here in Waitangi, Marae, and Titi Marae, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. That means we are equal to the King as Paramount Chiefs and myself Sheriff of the Courts. We're coming to Plymouth County as the Sheriff there will meet us and myself the Sheriff and the Paramount Chiefs to join ourselves back up after 183 years in a few months to the elections. We'll be there before the elections so that you can see we are who we are as your partner in commercial trading bank business. We are the bank, the Moai Powerhouse Bank, and the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company, set up in London, is your company. Ownership as shareholders 
in Britain, one billion shares. I'm saying that belongs to you in Britain. We have our own one billion shares here as part of a 250 country state premiership under the Maui Crown King William IV Trust. Absorb all the Queen Victoria Trust into this trust. That's what we're doing with you in Britain. So George Laming from 38 Degrees. I'm John Wanoa here in Auckland, New Zealand as the native customary legal advocate and creditor of the Moai Powerhouse Bank Group in London and here in New Zealand and the 250 countries in the world. We're starting off there. We have a budget. I'm going to send you the uh, itinerary uh, that we're going to uh, London on. I might readjust it so that we are there when the elections are on or just before the elections and during the elections. So I'll alter uh, the way my um, um, agenda is for the itinerary is for the 15th of um, we may come then and come back later when the elections are on. So we'll stall um, headed for next month on the 15th of um, 16th to be 16th of July to be in uh, Heathrow Airport and we're going straight to uh, Plymouth uh, to Devon first, sorry, to Devon to raise the flag on the William Yard and then off to Plymouth the next day on the 17th and to raise the flag in the court to nominate um, King Ernest Augustus V, he's alive and well in London, as the legitimate King of England and King of Britain, or legitimate, sorry, legitimate King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Aotea, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world from Plymouth. Okay, we're going to set ourselves up with our legal authority <coughs> of this jurisdiction of this flag, the most powerful flag in the world of a king, King William IV and King William III, as the legitimate magistrate, court, bank, bench, creditor, picking up the money and the spoils of uh, prize possessions and the king's royal revenue collected from leased lands around the world and from lease lands in occupation around the world, including Britain, UK, as being leasehold lands to the king, not the queen, to the king. Everything is king, including the gold missing in the Philippines. They're using the Admiralty Law, which is this flag. They're using the Financial Martial Law, which is this flag authority which we have over the top of their use in America as well. So I'm telling you something that we are the second party to the first party contract in the private. Uh, George, Amy, Lamy, uh, and your crew there, I'm hoping that we can fund you uh, to continue once we get our funding through. We're just getting that set up now with our um, Premier or Prime Minister of uh, the Maori Government here in um, New Zealand. That's another organisation. I'm setting up a dual world government with you, the New World Order, this way, with King William III and King William IV titles that we possess and own as commercial land owners of this business that's going on in that Trafalgar Square Admiralty building and it's Education Park. We're coming straight into there. If you set that up for us, we'll come in there and tell you all about us as Natives Blueprint, President Case for all the other Native countries in the world that the Kings use to conquer. All those lands with this Declaration of War Flag, 1834 Declaration of War Flag, and our birth certificates with them. Manukau, 1830 birth certificate, you see on my Facebook, and my St. Mary's Church, 1831 birth certificate from my family, and 
the River in Wānoa at 1831 and River in Ka, C A R R, one of yours, British immigrants. Here, to me, the native original with my Cook Island family and my Tahitian family of Maui and the Cook Island and Moriori Manukau titles that we hold here, right here, sitting right with me. Okay, so that's uh, who we are and we are wanting to sit with you professors inside that education building to talk about Admiralty Magistrate Court and its business of commercial banking trade so that belongs to you, the people of Britain and us. Two-way contract with you and us. No one else in this private business. You got that? George? I'm hoping... Georgie Laming, sorry, not George. Georgie Laming from 38 Degrees. Please take note that I am dead serious with what I say as fact and deeds of truth, evidence, citations on these videos and everything I say is nothing but truth so help me God it is the truth that I say. Okay so that's what I'm just uh, passionate about getting this flag put up right around the world in 250 countries and back up in Britain. It is a British flag of kings four corners of the earth that this government here in New Zealand has been fraudulent to use and they're trying to steal it on the 28th of October our Declaration of Independence Day that founded this country and there they are saying they found it in 1840 after it's been founded in 1835 and founded by the British in 1834 on the 20th of March 1834 that's when the British said this was the flag of New Zealand, not 1835, not 1840, but 1834. Okay, you got that? That's a contract. Georgie, that's a contract between you and me and those immigrants that came from your country to our country and set their business up for us. The Maui statue standing in Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London is my Tahitian Maui. God's Spirit Memorial title to the whole world. Okay, so that's that title. King William the Third title and of his memorial in orange and King William the Fourth title in Plymouth in Devon Port William Yard. That's where he left to go around the world and come here with his Admiralty and his magistrate court to seize lands. He seized our lands with us. And the Manukau Company is set up in Edinburgh, Scotland, in the lands deeds there. We'll go through this with you methodically because I have all the facts here with me. I'll be coming armed with them in case anybody gets cheeky and try to change things that have been changed over the years from the original to what it is now under the Queen's coronation that's not there. The stone is not there, not real. But the only ones that had coronation are Queen Victoria and Queen and King William IV. That's it. We still have his seal right here. You see that? Right there, Georgie. That's the seal of King William on his horse and his ship behind him in his eight-point star of St. Patrick's Order. So we've got that title, the St. Patrick's eight-point star from Belfast in Ireland, Ulster, that's the name of the North Island here, and Munster, South Island in New Zealand, named after those Irish there. Okay, and so that's the eight-point star and King William's crown at the top as being sheriff wears this hat and that's it. He wears this and goes in on property and seizes it back into the King's Bench Court, Magistrate Court, from the Queen's Bench Court. 
magistrate court. Okay, you, you can see a picture emerging, it's true. So I just want to uh, uh, say a thank you for um, uh, promoting us there and you can take it further from me and from Chief uh, Kingi Taurua and from the Chief um, Hedewiri Karaka or Samwen Clark and from Bundy Waitai and also from um, Manahi Parapara Mohini um, we are uh, coming to see you we are coming to see you to put this all back together Humpty Dumpty back together before the London Bridge burns it's about to burn because your, your, your Mayor of London Khan um, Sadiq Khan Sadiq, Sadiq Khan is mischievous because he's he's running these banks and these Kabali and these um, um, terrorism as being part of the Freemasons banks and the Rothschild banks that's mischievous against the interest, the financial investment interests of the people, the common law people, or common people of King William the Third and King William the Fourth. Okay, so the Queen, your Queen, is hiding away in Brussels at the moment under uh, King William the Third of Orange. That's not her bloodline. That's not her bloodline. That bloodline belongs to King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, who we are coming there to put into Westminster as the King of. Britain UK. Okay, that's your king. He's live. He's 68 this year. And his son, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus, is 34, I think. 33 or 34. So he's following in his footsteps and more likely to be abdicated from uh, myself as standing in for King William the third, uh, the fourth, to Ernest Augustus as a contractor in partnership on the commercial side of King William the Fourth, we have the right as his partner to decide um, who takes his place from me as his surrogate to speak on the native lands right through the world. On this we have Canada, the uh, natives of Canada ready to uh, follow in and I go there as representing the uh, king side of Britain. So I'm here talking in that capacity as if I'm the king of Britain, UK. No, you have a real king there. King Ernest Augustus is very much alive, the fifth, and his job is to pick up and keep the continuity of this flag at 183 years going into the future as controlled over all the king's wealth, inheritance, 970 million trillion trillion pounds of wealth we are recovering back with the British Royal Navy, our partner, the first and second partner, us, in this contract with King William the Fourth and King William the Third. Um, jurisdiction of Admiralty Magistrate Court, Financial Martial Law. We seize the property back into the King's custody and the King's bench, Native Grand Jury Court in Plymouth. We're going to put it in there, all that wealth in there, Georgie, and it will hold the power right there. And then that goes to the World Court in Brussels. King William III, that authority will control that authority in the World Court for any mischievous Crown corporations inside the Queen's bench court going on. We're there to haul them in to a higher court of jurisdiction, Georgie. Okay? That's how I talk. I'm talking as if I'm running Britain better than they are at the moment because they don't have any legitimacy or any fact, just assumptions of whose land it is. Okay? It's only paper titles of land instruments that was put together by those two kings. And the church 
um, of the, the Church of England, St. Mary's Church, is my birth certificate title, which is what we're going to share with you there as partner. You're our partner, Georgie. You're our partner, and we expect uh, you to um, take claim to what we recover. And that's what this flag is for, to recover and restore the King's royal revenue and his business as two-way contract. Okay, everybody else I'm saying is third party to a two-way contract. Okay, I think you can understand that in plain English. So with that, I'll say have a nice day or evening there. It is now 6.58 a.m. in the morning of Wednesday, the... 7th of June 2017. So I'll go and see what day, I think it's in uh, August uh, or September, the elections. So we, we, we'll come earlier to make talks way before then and help in the funding of the elections. I think that would be quite in order. Once we get our um, funding together, we've, we have that um, going on now in a couple of weeks time we should have that and I will put it straight on as a campaign under your um, media 38 degrees in uh, London to um, uh, promote the Maui King William Party okay the Maui King William Party and uh, Matt Taylor is uh, promoting that already with this flag and uh, <clears throat> he uh, will jump straight back into that position. And he has uh, media um, um, promotion um, uh, to go along with it, but we'll follow uh, your course as being there. You've been pushing me along for quite some time now, and I haven't ignored you. I've just left it till this time, the eighth hour, and it is now time to do it. We're going to do the business and I'll put aside the budget for it. You'll see, I'll send you the uh, itinerary and that's just tentative at the moment for the 15th of next month. We'll be there for, the uh, chiefs will be there for a week and I'll be there for longer. And uh, more or less I'll be setting up permanent um, residence there as British citizen under this contract that was given to us in the first place as British citizens here in New Zealand. Okay, so that's um, that's what I, you'll see the budgets I have for a certain amount of figures, and we can throw in the budget behind your company uh, to promote what uh, what it is um, you um, I know what uh, you are doing, and uh, that should set it alight. Um, at the present time, I'm in New Zealand and. Um, operating the business in London and we'll be operating in Scotland, in Denmark uh, for the uh, Tidal Energy Project, for the Moai Tidal Energy Project. You'll see that in 80 websites uh, on Facebook and also our uh, website has been dormant for a little while until we get the funding through and she'll be away. Okay, we're talking in a few billion for the Navy, the British Navy to look after the whole Pacific island on our land blocks, my land blocks in Tiki Tiki, Rangitukia, for the British military to come straight in there and set up pronto, ASAP, before the TPTA takes a hold of it with all the thugs and pirates that I'm calling them. And there's nothing they can do about it because this takes precedence over jurisdiction of others playing around with this flag, our country. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a nice evening there, and we'll see you again. Expect good things.